All right, folks, uh, today we're going to uh, do a little Canteen Cup Tuesday, and we're going to do a little uh, hobo skillet in the Canteen Cup. All right, welcome back. All right, I've got, a, got some uh, some spam, a couple pieces of sliced spam, some cheese. Got a part of a jalapeno with some onion. And then I've got a couple of... Uh, Shroomages and a couple of eggs, and we're gonna make a, a hobo skillet in the canteen cup. So I'll get started, I'll get the uh, fire going in here, and then we'll get everything going on. Also, my wife had got me this uh, a set, a um, lunch meal set, because the kids got a uh, one of those Japanese lunchbox things, the ban Banco or whatever. Uh, so she found this one outdoors for me, so she bought this. But I'm just, I'll show you that later, but I'm just using the top because it's a cutting board, so that's what I'm going to use that for. All right, I got some uh, fatwood shavings from this Wisconsin fatwood. And I got the filled up with log. Uh, branches and such. And so we'll spark this up, put it down in there, and get it going. I got a bunch of old twigs down in there and such. There it goes. You have to take your time sometimes. All right, we'll, we'll get back to you when the, that's roaring, roaring hot. Here she's roaring now. This a couple, like three minutes in, it's already going. But let's we'll let that burn down some more, and then we'll put some more big ones on there. Just get it going. The coals, you know. All right, I got some uh, taters cut up and put in there. Uh, Cut up some shroomages. Uh, I'm gonna do the jalapeno right now. I was cutting right here, but it was getting too hot, so I just moved. I, I put a little bit of water in there to help cook the taters up faster. Uh, you know, gotta be done. Still, if you're doing twigs, you gotta make sure you, you know, constantly feed them so you keep the keep it up there. Unless I'm on the ground, I can shove a stick in the, that little hole right there. And then there's also another one right here. But I'm on top of this log, so that's what we're gonna do. Put some onion in there. I got some jalapeno. And put in there. And we'll get that stirred up and get it cooked down more. Then we'll add the mushrooms and eggs and cheese later on. Look at that. Looking good. really liking this uh, stove so far like putting uh, sticks in there you just got to keep feeding them it, it was working great like I'm pretty excited about this uh, stove and uh, I was gonna do a alcohol stove in there but I, I ran out of the denatured alcohol which we, we don't even sell here in California anymore but I just had a little bit in the, in the thing which is not enough so I'm gonna buy one of those bottles of heat uh, when I go back to work and I know then I'll do the uh, alcohol stove in there so we can uh, see how that works because you could adjust that it's, it, they have a set adjustment in there for like a one where that one inch uh, gap that is the prime gap I guess what they call it I don't know anyways go back to cooking I just grabbed one of those uh, taters out there so we'll see if they're they're done Pretty much, pretty much done. So we'll get the egg in there, the two eggs, and then the mushrooms, and the, I'll chop up some cheese and, and some cubes, some cheese in there too. It'll be, it'll be really good. All right, I got the uh, mushrooms and the cheese in there now too, and I'll get the eggs going on. All right, I just uh, pop those eggs in there. So let's get those cooking. 
and then we'll be getting eaten pretty soon. All right, let's take a peek on. Oh yeah. All right, I just uh, mixed it in there so it'll cook faster. So we'll let it sit in there like that for a little bit, and then it'll be done. It's turned out great, and uh, pretty good. So thanks for watching, folks, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. So happy bushcrafting. Get outside, make yourself happy. All right, thanks for watching.